What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the Take It Apart channel. Today, we're going to disassemble something tiny and something that I've only realized is recent on FedEx packages that are rather expensive. And that's these little FedEx tracker tags. Now, I could be wrong. They could have been around for a while. However, I've started seeing these <laughs> integrated into the packages that I'm shipping, which are, you know, medical packages. So they're usually a little bit more expensive. And I was thinking, what the heck is going on with these? It looks like a traditional RFID tracking tag and it's made by SenseAware. I can tell based on the indicators that are on it, showing its FCC ID and whatnot and a little QR code. But uh, what's going on inside it? Today, we're going to find out. Let's do it. So this is the little FedEx tracker tag. It does say that it's made by SenseAware. And it's got an FCC ID, a CMIT ID, and an Anatel ID. Interesting. A couple other identifiers on there. But uh, this guy is rather interesting because if, it, if FedEx is just throwing them on a bunch of packages, that means that they have to be rather inexpensive to produce. You see it's made in Thailand. It's... Patented by SenseAware. So I went ahead and I took the liberty of disassembling one. And you can see right here, they're sealed pretty good. In fact, they're almost waterproof, almost. And most of the real estate inside is taken up by a little tiny board. And this is an active RFID tag. So that means it has a little coin cell battery. And this is just sandwiched in there like so. And that activates the little tag. So let's take a look and see what we got going on here. I have my battery pickup. I have, let's see, I've got a little capacitor right here. I've got a tiny little capacitor right here. We got a series of test points on these guys, probably for programming purposes right here, these, these large touch pads. And I've got right here a little chip, which even on my microscope, I can barely see. I'd have to put it on the, the ultra high microscope to see it. It's crazy. It's tiny. And let's see. We have an inductor over here. X1. Kind of curious what that is. But uh, if you take a look at the back, you can see that what we've got going on is we've got some integrated antennas on this PCB. So all we are doing is we are programming the ID using these pads into this little chip. And this guy is going to bark out or transmit probably when a signal comes in. Because other words, this guy would probably have a very short life expectancy, but uh, it does come with a PK cell 2032 battery. You see that? And uh, it's funny that they would use a stout battery like a 2032 instead of a, a skinnier one, maybe because, you know, cost. But uh, all this fits inside that FedEx plastic case. You can see when I separated it, I had to put some force on it. And the glue around the perimeter right here, it held pretty tight. So the battery is just clipped into place and it's held into place based on that clamshell design. So if you have some of these, some of these uh, tags like this one here, you can go ahead and open them up, take out your 2032 battery and it's probably still good. So you got a really nice three volt lithium cell battery and it's always good to have spares of these ones because I use these and everything from um, angle meters to some of my calipers use the 2032s. Obviously, we've used them for years as CMOS batteries. But um, yeah, while well, the rest of this guy here is pretty much going to be useless, unless you have an RFID system, and then you can go ahead and add this to your database. I don't know why you'd want to, but uh, for the most part, these tags are disposable, and you can see that they're designed as such. How interesting is that? It's tiny, tiny little tag guys. In fact, <laughs> you can see how small they are here in relation to the tag in my hands. 
So they're not very big, but what they're doing is they're including these inside the packages and inside some of the larger shipments so that they can track where they are in real time around the world. And that actually saved me on this particular situation because FedEx had taken one of my bags and they did a return to sender at one of their uh, FedEx receivers. And I did not receive that bag. So they were shipping it back. I had to track it down. It was over an hour away and they were able to look and find where they are in the warehouse based on these tags right here. How crazy is that? And I'm certainly glad that they're moving on to things like real time RFID, because even if a package is in a pile of packages, they can still track it and find out exactly where it is in the warehouse because this is an active tracking system. It sends out pings periodically. They can see exactly where it's at. It saved my bacon, folks. So anyway, I know, guys, this is a, just kind of an interesting little mundane piece of tech, but it's a piece of tech that certainly saved me. And I'm appreciative of companies like FedEx always striving to implement new technologies. Big thumbs up for me. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. I'd love to hear your thoughts, so drop a comment below with what you'd like to see in future videos.